in this class we will be saying latch which is also known as one bit memory element. The other name of latch is also known as bistable element. The topic is from sequential circuits. The subject name is digital electronics. So, before going into detail of latch or one bit memory element, we will be knowing what we will be covering in this class. So, we will be seeing how a latch is working using NOT gate, other name of NOT gate is inverter and we can implement NOT gate using NAND and NOR and we will be seeing how it is working and how it is used for 1 bit memory cell. 1 bit memory cell means it can store 1 bit of data in it and why it is known as bi stable element bi means 2 stable states it is having. So, it will have 2 outputs q and q bar which will be at logic 0 and other state will be at logic 1. So, latch or 1 bit memory cell, 1 bit memory cell because it can store 1 bit of data. It is also known as bi stable element because it is having 2 stable states logic 0, logic 1. Okay. So, let us start the working of latch. So, we can uh, say the latch is primarily comprising of two cross coupled inverters like this. This is an inverter, inverter means NOT gate. So, what is a latch? It is a cross coupled inverters. We can draw the NOT gate using NAND gate like this. When we join both the ends of the NAND gate, it becomes a NOT gate. So, it is also cross coupled NOT gate. We can draw this cross coupled NOT gate using NOR gate like this. When we join both the ends of the NOR gate and connect it to single. So, this cross coupled NOR gate is also a latch. So, we can draw this NOT latch using NAND or NOR. Okay. So, let us understand the first NOT gate. So, what the inputs we are taking? A and B are the inputs. Gates are numbered as 1 and 2. The output of this NOT gate is A is given to a NOT gate. So, the output will be A bar. If B is an input to this NOT gate, the output will be B bar. So, A and B are the inputs and Q and Q bar are the outputs. Similarly, using NAND gate, we have taken the inputs A, B, outputs are Q, Q bar. Using NOR gate, cross coupled NOR gate, inputs are A and B, outputs are Q, Q bar. So, why it is known as bistable element? Because it has two output states Q and Q bar, which will be definitely one will be at logic 0 and other will be at logic 1. So, what is a latch? latch is a cross coupled inverter. Okay, you can draw a latch either using no inverter or NOT gate, using NAND gate or NOR gate. The inputs are A and B, the outputs are Q, Q bar. So, let us uh, see how it works. Basic bistable element or one bit memory cell. So, first let us assume let us assume here A is equal to 0. If A is 0, what will be the output here? 1. So, what will be Q? Q is 1. When A is 0, Q is 1. This 1 is fed here. This 1 is fed here. So, when 1 is the input to this NOT gate, the output will be 0. So, here what happened? The output is 1, 0. Okay, so, we have to assume one value for the input. Now, let us assume that A is 0, A is 1. If A is 1, what will be the output here? 
0 and this 0 is fed here. If 0 is input to this NOT gate, what will be the output? 1. Okay. So, when A is 0, how much is Q? 1. When A is 0, Q is 1. When A is 1, Q is 0. Very easy to understand. It is simply a NOT gate explanation. When A is 0, Q is 1. When A is 1, Q is 0. If you remember this point, other point is very clear. So, other way we can explain in this way, when A is 0, Q is 1. So, what will be Q bar? 0. When A is 0, Q is 1. When A is 0, what is Q? Q is 1 and Q bar is 0. So, what we are able to see? Q value is 1 and Q bar value is 0. And when A is equal to 1, what is it? Q is 0, Q bar becomes 1. So, all the time these two output states should be in complementary because it is Q, Q bar. So, how we are um, understanding it is working? By assuming that A is equal to 1, when A is 1, Q is 0, Q bar is 1. When A is 0, Q is 1, Q bar is 0. When A is 0, Q is 1 and also. So, the conclusion is when A is 0, Q is 1, Q bar will be 0. So, this is the first stable state because Q is 1, Q bar is 0, both are complementary. So, A is 0, Q is 1. When A is 1, what is the output? Q is equal to 0. Q bar will be 1. This is known as second stable condition. So, it is very easy to understand the working of a latch or a 1 bit memory cell. The important conclusions which we can remember out of this uh, explanation is, the first point is, the outputs Q and Q bar are always complementary. The second point is, the circuit has two stable states. The state corresponds to Q is equal to 1 and is referred as one stable state or set state. And the state Q is equal to 0 is referred as a zero state or reset state. Third point, if the circuit is set, that is one state, it will remain in the set state. And if the circuit is in the reset or zero state, it will remain in the reset state. That is, the circuit is called one bit memory cell. Okay, so, if the circuit is held at one state, it will be held in the one state. So, it is known as one bit memory cell. As the one bit information is logged or latched in the circuit, therefore, it is referred as a latch. I hope you have understood this latch working. So, one bit memory cell diagram is very, very easy. It is a cross coupled inverter when A is 1, Q is 0, Q bar is when A is 1, Q is 0, Q bar will be 1 and so on. The explanation is very easy. So, this is a, a 1 bit memory cell. I hope you have understood the class. If you have any queries, you can post in the comment section. Thank you. Good luck students.